12 Things That Annoy Your Massage Therapist The Most Aside from the most annoying thing you could ever tell a massage therapist, that their job isn't that hard, there's actually a list of other things that they find equally as frustrating. We were exposed to a lot of myths and misunderstandings about massage therapy, and the idea that it doesn't require a ton of effort is only one of them. Massage therapists don't have an easy job, but there are a few things that would make their job a whole lot easier. Whether you're an RMT professional yourself, or simply a fan of massages and want to have a good relationship with your practitioner, this video's got something for us all. Now, keep watching for the 12 things a massage therapist finds most annoying. Before we begin this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more daily tips like this and turn on notifications so you never miss our new videos. Number 12, being called a masseuse or a masseur. Using outdated titles from the 1950s can drive a massage therapist crazy. Try RMT, Registered Massage Therapist, or Massage Practitioner. These days, most massage therapists require some sort of education, training, or certification to be considered a masseuse, and it can be considered disrespectful to give them a generic name. There are many different types of massage therapy programs that require certification examinations, which are administered by colleges. To practice massage therapy in certain states, massage therapists must first obtain their certificate or registration from an approved school. Being a registered massage therapist is a professional designation and is one which is earned by people who have completed the necessary training and certification. Number 11, clients who are self-conscious. We can't anticipate every great skin day when booking a neck massage, deep tissue massage, or any other type of massage. Whether you have a sprinkle of back acne or forget to shave your legs, it's nothing they haven't seen before. So if you're self-conscious about your skin, weight, or any type of condition you may have, leave your fears at the door as soon as you walk into your appointment. Massage therapists have seen it all and nothing phases them. If you're worried about how you look, you're not the only one. But massage therapists are trained to do their job and deal with any type of body type or condition. The best massage is one where you're comfortable and relaxed, so leave the worries at the door. Wondering what the number one thing is that annoys massage therapists the most? Here's a hint. It's something clients do while they're getting a massage. Stick around until the end to find out what it is. Number 10, clients who haven't showered. This one's pretty straightforward. Like any appointment focused on your body, whether it be a doctor's visit or wax, it'll make it more enjoyable for the both of you if you're clean. Your massage therapists are providing you a service and part of this service requires them to get extremely close to your body. Have a little bit of respect for them and take a thorough shower before you go to a deep tissue massage. It is the least you can do considering the service they are providing. How do you expect to get the best massage possible if your massage therapist can barely complete the job because of your body odor? Number nine, clients who forget their wallets. Like any other service being given, massage therapists expect to get paid. If you expect to get a massage, well, you gotta pay for it. The same can be said for tipping. If your massage therapist went out of his or her way to give you an amazing deep tissue massage, let them know you appreciate it. Be sure to tip them and show your thanks. And your massage therapist won't forget it when you come for another appointment. If you become a regular customer and leave consistent tips, you'll make sure to get the best service possible every time you go. It goes both ways, folks. Remember, if you tip well and are a loyal customer, you can guarantee that you'll continue to get the best massages from your massage therapist. Number eight, sound effects. Whether the massage feels really good or that kink in your neck the RMT is working out really hurts, try to control the noises. Massage therapists have heard it all, but that doesn't take away from the fact that certain noises can be really weird. It can be annoying for a massage therapist to hear weird sound effects while they're completing a neck massage, deep tissue massage, or any other type of massage. And it can also take away from their focus. So try to avoid strange sound effects the best you can. Number seven, massage therapists are in pain too. Giving a massage like a deep tissue massage is physically and emotionally demanding. You're not the only one who's hurting, so try to take this into consideration when you're getting your massage. As good 
or bad as a massage may feel, remember that your massage therapist is completing this service, which can also put strain on their body. Number six, how unreliable their job is. Although getting a massage is becoming a more common method of self-care, it can still be unpredictable when it comes to clients. That's why massage therapists devote a lot of their time to building a loyal clientele. These clients remain loyal and continue to come back and also tell their friends and family members about their massage therapist. This can help a massage therapist gain clients through word of mouth. Number five, people they know asking for free massages. One of the most annoying things about being a massage practitioner is people trying to get free massages. Some people ask for a simple neck massage while others ask for deep tissue massages, which are actually more expensive and much more time consuming than regular massages. Book an appointment. Not everything in life is free. And just because your friend or friend of a friend is a massage therapist doesn't mean that you're entitled to a free massage. We all have to pay our bills somehow. You wouldn't just walk into an auto shop and expect them to fix your car for free, right? The same applies for any other type of service. You gotta pay for it. So show a little respect and stop asking an acquaintance or people you know for free massages. It is one of the most annoying parts of the job. Number four, clients who don't say how they're feeling. If something really hurts or if the touch is too rough or their method too intense, tell them. They actually wanna know. How is the massage therapist supposed to know that you're in pain if you don't tell them? Don't leave them guessing. Let them know you're in pain. And don't forget to inform them of any other problem areas you may have which you want straightened out. They are providing you a service, remember? And if you wanna get the best out of your service, be upfront and honest with them from the start. Number three, towels. So many towels. Laundry day is every day when you're a registered massage therapist. One of the more annoying parts of being a massage therapist is having to deal with the seemingly endless amounts of towels they go through on a daily basis. Not only do they have to clean them all up, but they also have to keep buying new ones so that they're fresh. This adds to the cost and also takes from the time. Number two, uncovering health issues. The good and bad thing about going for a massage is they can actually find signs relating to your health. Even though they may have to be the bearer of bad news, it could save your life. The reason this might seem annoying to massage therapists is because they expect clients to tell them about any health issues or problems they may be experiencing before they start the massage. If a massage therapist doesn't know about any underlying issues, it could be dangerous to your health. So make sure you're fully aware of any health issues or conditions you have before you go to your appointment. You should perhaps even schedule an appointment with your doctor before going for a massage to rule out any health conditions. All right, so you've made it to the end. Now, here's the one thing that clients do while getting a massage that massage therapists cannot stand. Number one, clients who don't stop fidgeting or moving. Massage therapists can get really annoyed with a client who can't relax. Stop moving around or shifting yourself on the table. The whole point is to be comfortable. Look, we get it. You might be a little bit nervous or even in a little bit of pain or discomfort because of the massage, but your massage therapist can't do his or her job if you are constantly fidgeting and can't keep still. Let them do their job. Stay still and let them know of any discomfort you're experiencing during their massage. If you're nervous, you can also voice your anxiety to them before starting. Are you guilty of doing any of the things in this video? What annoys you most about getting massages? What would you say is the best massage you've ever received? Let us know in the comment section. Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and share with your friends. Also, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.